Hi, I have some great watercolor books for you to check out. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel and then you'll get the next one. But these watercolor books are books that inspired me when I was doing watercolor and I want to share these with you. Let's dive in. I'm just going to go through some of these books. These are like little basic ordinary books that you can get just about anywhere. But this one, I thought, the Flower Painter's Pocket Palette is really good. So you can go through, get different ideas on flowers and what colors to use. It's kind of a beginner book. So just look for that one if you're a beginner. This one is more about uh, flower painting and it's a little more advanced. It shows you examples on how to get started, what materials to use. Really fun book for that. It is a little more advanced and it's really good for people that love flowers. I often put flowers in some of my work. Um, this one is still life paintings. Oops, and I still have some watercolor paper in there. And basic materials, basic information, basic uh, examples. A good book just for beginners. And you can use paint, pastels, they provide quite a few examples from different mediums. So you can go through that. Some of them I really love, like this one, because it's more or less semi-abstract, and that's what I like. So this one led me to other books, like this one, that uh, is more abstract, and it deals with water media. Now, water media is watercolor, acrylics. It even includes collage quite often. So painting the spirit of nature. This is a wonderful book. It gives you basic information at the beginning, textures, lots of black and white. I would say that's probably a negative. And then you go on. I kept some notes in here. And it shows you different examples of artwork that's done in water media. Now this person deals with uh, watercolor, acrylic, ink. So here's the inspiration, here's the end product. That's part I love. And what I like is the wonderful use of examples in this book. Great examples, inspiration, end product. So you can see that the end product is not just a copy of the inspiration, but it's influenced by the in inspiration. So basic textures, how to do those, how to create different effects to make rock-like elements, what happens when you combine colors and wet and wet or not so wet and wet. Um, this is a use of uh, shrink wrap that you put on top of paint or plastic wrap. And then you add paint on top of that. And you get a whole different ex effect. This is mostly plastic wrap, ink. It's got lots of ideas in here that you will use that are just fantastic. And it leads to... Um, beautiful abstracts like this one. I just love this book and I love the examples. That's probably what I like the best is how they show the inspiration and then the end product. It's a really wonderful book and I love this book for all these examples. So check this book out. Now back to realism. If you like realism, here's flowers, references. There's all kinds of these books that you can get and they're useful. If you like semi-abstract uh, and you're looking for different ways to uh, 
like you can't take pictures of everything or at least I take a lot of pictures but I never get to some of the flowers and I don't get the detail with my camera that you can get in references like this. So I will use this as a backup but mostly I like inspirational books. This is Judy Betts watercolor but I don't use it like a watercolor book. I use it like I could do acrylics and still use this book because she shows colors and end product how you can use those and then different examples of colors and end product it's wonderfully put together shows you different examples inspirational quotes uh, really good examples uh, adding text combining ideas there's a lot of inspirational work in this one, and it's really good that way. I love that part. It's almost poetry. So check out this book. You can get a lot out of it. Look at the simplicity of this. It's mostly a wash of watercolor, but it's a beautiful painting in itself. She goes on, gives different examples, how she puts things together. You examine the shapes that are in the painting and then how the shapes are put together. It's a really good book that way. <clears throat> Here's another watercolor book, but also like the other ones, I don't use it like a watercolor book. I use it like a just a basic information kind of book. There's examples at the front. This is by Zoltan Zabo. I think that's how you say his name. He is one of the main instructors, very first instructors in watercolor and water media. So you can do this in watercolor, but you could also do it in acrylic if you wanted to. So it's not limited. So there's color, color, basic information on colors, combining colors, arranging your painting. Now, this is what I use this book for, how to use composition. He is the king of composition. He's very good at um, just pointing out how to arrange a painting so it looks good. And that's information you can use whether you're a realistic, semi-realistic, or abstract painter. This is a very abstract work. And the examples are fantastic. He shows different ways to use um, watercolor. And again, you can do this in acrylic if you wanted to. So there's realistic, there's not unrealistic, well, not semi-realistic, but mostly it's about composition. And that's the important part in most paintings. So a viewfinder, we do that a lot. And it's a wonderful example. Again, references. So this is how did you paint that? I have two of these. And what you do is you go through this book. And what it does, it, each artist in here that was chosen shows their palette, tells us about their inspiration, and also just general information on how they painted that painting. So if you see a certain style, it'll explain, or the artist will explain how that person did that. So if I wanted to know how this was done, especially the washes in the back, I could just read the information and try it out myself. Same thing with this one, same kind of idea. You go through, find a, a painting you like, and it tells you exactly how it was done. Good books, good references. Now, Zoltan Zabo has another book. This is a very old one. Here he is. You can tell how old it is because it's got lots of black and white. And again, his basic information is about arranging your painting making it so that the composition is pleasing to the eye. And he goes through all kinds of exercises that you can do. And being a master painter, master instructor, he explains it very well.
So that's a great book that you can use as a reference. The Thatcher's Way. This is also in watercolor, but again, what I liked about it was the information, the color. How to use color, how to use composition. So this is almost abstract if you wanted to think about it. How to do figures. Simple, simplify, how to arrange your figures. This is all really valuable information for any painter. If I took out the trees, it could be an abstract. Flowers, it covers just about every topic. So this is also a good book as a reference. One of my other favorites is uh, Charles Reed's Watercolor. Again, it says watercolor, but it's all, you could do any of these in acrylic if you wanted to, and it's all about composition, arranging your paintings, making sure these paintings really work, and they're a painting, they're not a copy of a photo, and this is a great book, wonderful examples, Charles Reed has it, his own particular style, so this is something, if you're attracted to this style, it's a great reference. Everything is explained in great detail, how everything is done. What he does is he does a drawing, he fills it in, he blends color beautifully. It's just a wonderful, wonderful book. And if you love his work, this is the book for you. Last of all is another watercolor book. And this is a reference too, or at least I call it a reference, and it's called um, Just the Best. So every year there's some books that come out and feature certain watercolors, uh, watercolor paintings, and you can see all the ones that were chosen for that year. You have abstract, semi-abstract, semi-abstract, at the same time you can have super realism, it's just a good book to be inspired by. So, as you can see, I love inspirational books, but I also love books that give you information, especially books like this one that just give you lots of ideas and really get you painting. So that's the only goal. So that's it for now. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my channel. We'll see you next time.